All right, and we are back. Welcome back, everyone, uh, to the Council Live, and I'm your host, Sheldon Stobo. We're talking about child support. We're talking uh, to men right now, and this is not sexist. Uh, but most of the guys that have contacted and have responded, or the people rather, are males. So we're going to be talking to a few guys this week. Just kind of break it down for us and let us know exactly what they've been going through. we got a few guys been paying child support for years. Uh, we have some new guys, and I'm hoping that some of you guys uh, that are 18, 19, submit some questions, pick up the phone and call and learn, because this thing is real. 18 years is a long time. All right, so we want to pick up where we left off. Um, we do have some callers uh, here shortly. Um, what are the factors in determining child support? And some of these questions I've been just hitting our DM, so I'm just going to give you some information that I found. Um, other, fa other factors often take into consideration would include support obligations for children from other relationships. So if you have met a, a gentleman or a female who have, have had prior relationships and have children in other relationships, that could be a factor. That could be a determining factor when it comes to your relationship, getting married. Um, you know, either party would have to accept that there are prior obligations. So it's very important, even some of you younger people that are listening, and I'm glad you guys are, because uh, you're getting the information straightforward from the counselor. All right, you're not, you're listening. Yes, you are prime meat. Okay, at your age, you are prime meat. You are a prime target. And we talked about in our last segment, there are young ladies out there. There are young men who sit at home and plot and plot and figure out how they can meet someone who's going to pay them 18 years of income every week what do these plots consist of all right so i'm just going to give you some of the things i've heard as a counselor so some of the plots consist of oh meeting at the club at 21 you under age dressed to the nine spanked all up and i'm talking about some of these females got spanks on two three making sure those curves are cut all the way deep they can't even breathe, okay, dancing, barely moving, and they catch your eye. All of a sudden, you look at, oh, ooh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Your prime meet, your prime target. Okay, so we're in the club. You're having a good time. All oh, dance music is going, you know what I'm saying? You rocking. All of a sudden, they're playing your song. Ooh, everybody start really want to grind, especially towards the end of the night at the club. When they, you know, they start playing that grinding music. Some people listen to the uh, Jamaican music. That they start grinding with that. Everybody's twerking now, you know. So everything, all that attention, all that sexual energy is starting to flare up. And Mr. Prime Target, I'm talking to you. Got them old green eyes and them juicy red lips and all oh, them tight shirts. You've been going to the gym all week, all year, all winter. You went to the gym, got a 12-pack. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Prime meat. Okay, you're a target. All right? Oh, them, them curly hair. Oh, oh, he's tall. He's six foot two. Ooh. Okay, all these things come into play when you're being targeted at 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, you are being targeted. Because especially if you have a job and you get them to go to work every day, you're the number one. You have just made it. You are filet mignon. Or some people say filet mignette. Okay, you are Cristal versus Dominique Champagne. All right, I'm talking to you now. Your prime meat. So what do you do? Do you not just talk to girls anymore? You tell me. Pick up the phone. Give us a call. Tell us what you think. Yes, you're prime. You're a target. Okay, you got a brand new car. All right, you're only 21, you're driving a 2022. Come on. 
Yes, you are. You are the main attraction. Your TikTok's blowing up. You got a thousand views, or you got ten thousand or twenty thousand views. Uh, your girl shorties is hitting you up every time you walk in the door, out of the out of the door. You ever hang out with some of those guys? Um, you know what I'm saying? After the club, oh yeah, I got this girl's number. That girl, you got about twenty five numbers, bro. What are you gonna do with all twenty five numbers? Yep, yeah, we know you're gonna meet every last one of them. And out of 25, how many children do you think you're going to produce that night? Or sometime during that timeline. Once again, you are prime meat. You're being targeted. All right. I have been around when I have heard young ladies sitting down talking of how they trapped that man, if how, of how they got pregnant. I have lived in Los Angeles where a lot of these things don't hit the papers, where a lot of these uh, groupies, a lot of these females who meet these basketball players um, right before right before they get drafted or while they're in draft or after they've been picked. Okay, I mean, all types of things. Um, swallow it and put it in the condom. Um, spit it out in the condom. Um, jump off and run out the bathroom, run in the bathroom quick and spit it in something. That way you have, you know what I'm saying, what you need, all it takes is one to swim. I'm sorry I'm saying this, but it's the truth. This thing goes down, not just basketball players, football players, baseball players, um, not even athletes, you know, entrepreneurs, actors. I'm talking to you. Reality stars. Well, we're not going to talk about reality stars. I lived in Hollywood for quite a bit, quite a while. I'm telling you, you ever heard that uh, uh, terminology, famous and broke? <laughs> Where do you think it came from? So, yeah, so even some people that think that, oh, they think you got money. You know, not this is just not females. I'm saying for the most part, because it's only 15% of women, so I'm, there's a target. Okay, there's a plan. Somebody knows that this has been going on for a long time, young men. And yes, you might, if you don't have a father or you didn't grow up from a father, you might have met an honorable guy that has paid all 22 years of child support. And I didn't complain once. Okay, you might have met that person. But the truth of the matter is that this is a decision that you made or was made for you and you don't know about it when you were young. And because some of our OGs and people like that don't turn around and recontribute back to our community, it's a cycle that continues and continues and continues. But what we want to do, especially as the counselor, is we want to start educating our young and we want to encourage some of you guys who have been through this situation to get up and go start it, go to the boys club, um, go out to some of these meetings and start encouraging younger guys talk to them, teach them, help them understand, yes, it's honorable, but you could put a stop to it before it begins. And one thing I'm going to do mention, it might be on the screen by now, use a condom, wrap it up, wear to, and don't ever let that condom leave your sight. Okay. Cause all it takes is one puncture of a hole and uh, those babies are leaking out. Like I said, you're young, them things are flying. All right, so there's things that can happen. All right, young guys. All right, so I want to I want to I want to get the next point out, which was cool. What is the true meaning of child support? Now listen to this. In family law, the term child support refers to the regular payments, regular payments made to one parent by the other for the financial benefit of the child. Child support is often written into the divorce degree or the child custody or the visitation order. That's what it's usually designed for married people who have separated um, on the breadwinner often would be the one and would want the person who's not the breadwinner to stay home, get the kids a soccer practice, get to school every day. You know, the, 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 the soccer mom way of life. That person has used their time. They're sacrificing their time. They're not out working or making money for the family. So, okay, that person's lifestyle should not reduce because that relationship has severed. 
So that person who's getting their hair done and nails done and, you know, and enjoying their life or the person who goes to uh, the spa and gets regular haircuts and, you know, gets his suits tailor made. That person, if they're not the breadwinner, but taking care of the family has just as equal right um, to maintain their lifestyles, say that the relationship severed. I don't know how these determinations are made these days when people are are together for two months, somebody got pregnant and all of a sudden I'm getting you for child support. Everybody knows in the family, they already have your social security number. They already know how they're going to get you and, and they're having you served while at your job uh, that you just got a promotion at. So I want you guys to think, start thinking Having children with someone you don't know, you have no idea what you're asking for for the next 18 years of your, of your life. And children of parents who are taking advantage of people, targeting, right? Targeting people and having children by them, those children grow up and become very angry too. And so some of you uh, women, some of you guys are using your children against their wives or ex-wives or, and women using that child against that man. I want you to know that that child is listening and seeing everything that you are doing. And just how your mind is cunning and manipulative and who I'm gonna get him for this and what I'm gonna take out, I just heard he's got another job. That child is listening to you. And at some point when that child wakes up, their eyes open up and their ears begin to hear the truth about who you really are and what you have done to ascertain the money that you have. Do you think that child's going to give you some dap? Oh, homie, yo, you beat. I can't wait to be like you. No, that child is coming back at you at of vengeance and so i want some of you even planners those of you who are doing the targeting i want you to think about consequence yes at that time yeah your mama kicking you out when you turn 18 you don't want to work you never had a job you don't know what you're gonna do oh you know what why don't i meet some guy that can take care of me and my kid all those things even you you're young making these decisions that are going to affect you for the rest of your life. I want you young people to start thinking because these things are happening fast. You guys are growing up and becoming adults fast. Some of you have never even left the city that you live in because as soon as you didn't graduate from high school and was supposed to, because you got your girlfriend pregnant, did you and you wanted to be a responsible man and take care of the family, and now you're angry and drinking every day. Hint, hint. Getting high, not wanting to deal with it, fighting, arguing, not coming home. There are reasons because you made these decisions when you were young. Okay, I got another comment I wanted to mention. Is child support a bad thing? All right, I'm gonna let some of you guys answer that. I want you to please give me a call. Uh, you can go to my website, thecounselor.live. You can also email us at the promo. It's called promo at thecounselor.live. I wanna hear from you. Um, I would not look at child support as a good thing or a bad thing. It is a necessity. Children are not inexpensive. If two people bring a child into this world, it is the responsibility of both of the individuals to support and raise that child. If not together, then apart to the best of their abilities. And we call it co-parenting, and we're going to talk a little bit about that. We do have a couple that have a success story for co-parenting, and we have a couple that has a horror story for co-parenting. So stay with us on that. Uh, but more importantly, yes, it can be a bad thing if you're using it at a, as a weapon uh, against the other individual. 
when you are that person is trying to get remarried and has worked hard to get a promotion and, and build their life with their new family and you make sure that you spying and asking the child ask daddy where you're working at ask mommy where's a new job and, and you know sending these children to get all these subliminal messages that even the children aren't understanding why when these things start going on, I want you to start looking in the mirror at yourself. This is not the 18 year old that met the 19 year old in the club and both of you guys were drinking that night and it was a mistake. And now he's paying for the mistake and so are you. Okay. These things need to be more thought and talked about. And not, oh, I'll get a job working at Walmart and you can work your cash register job and we can try to build a house together. And, you know, I'll go to trade school. Those things are beautiful. And I'm not saying that um, a lot of these relationships that end up like that do not help people grow up. But what I'm saying is some people grow up really fast from a mistake or a thought or an idea that wasn't discussed, uh, discussed by a grown adult with a full frontal lobe development. And most of our frontal lobes do not fully develop until we're about 25, 26. So as much as you think you're grown and you're six foot four and you know how to speak and you know how to say curse words and you can fight and punch people and break things and rent things and own things and buy things, you can do all that. You're not fully developed. You still need some advice. You don't know everything and you were not born knowing everything. So at some point in time in life, you have to make a good decision. And that decision is before you decide to procreate, before you decide to have any children, before you even want to begin having intercourse, get some education, learn what could happen for the next 10, 18 years. All right, guys. More to come. Thank you for watching The Counselor. And I am your host, Sheldon Stovall. And you can always contact me, promo at thecounselor.live. We are taking calls this week. Talk to you in a minute.